Yahweh Shai, the true name of the Messiah, the in Hebrew name of the Messiah, the Redeemer, man. That's what we're looking for. Not this uh, paganism, holidays, and fake days, and um, false philosophies and doctrines. Change the Messiah from being a black man to a white man. Changed him from a Hebrew name and gave him a Greek um, pagan Jesus. Oh, let's change it from Jesus to Jesus. Now we're still praying to some Zeus, man. We're royalty. And the end result of us coming and obeying the scriptures is coming into the presence of the Most High and not this something that every single so-called Hebrew Israelite is supposed to be trying to do. We're coming to the presence of the Most High. So I'm going to go just get into the lesson, man. Oh, we got a precept before we uh, get, get into it real good. Go ahead, brother. Yeah, like the brother was saying that, you know, we, we messed up. We disobeyed the Most High, and so we getting jacked up for it right now, you know, as opposed to these other nations who who not getting punished right now, like like us. This is uh, 2 Maccabees 6 and 12. It says, Now I beseech those that read this book, that they be not discouraged for these calamities, That's right. but that they judge those punishments not to be for destruction, but for a chastening of our nation. Most High's just been chasing us, man. He's been whooping our behind. We've been fell off the law, statutes, commandments. We start following, the, uh, doing what we want to do. You know what I'm saying? And we, well, you know what? Hold that. We're going to pick that up. Bring, bring that out, brother. Uh, this is Baruch 4 and 6. Ye were sold to the nations, not for your destruction. Yeah, there you go. We weren't, the most I didn't want to destroy us. Go ahead. Baruch 4 and 6. You were sold unto the nations, not for your destruction, but because you moved the Most High to wrath. You were delivered unto your enemies, for ye provoked him that made you by sacrifi sacrificing unto devils and not to your power. So we, by doing that, the Most High has punished us, man. That's straight punishment. I'm just skipping to 13. Go ahead, brother. They knew not his statutes, nor walked in his commandments nor tried it in the paths of discipline and his righteousness. So we did whatever we wanted to do, whenever we wanted to do it, however we wanted to do it. And if we go further on to our character and conduct, it says we did it, our wickedness surpassed the wickedness of the white man. All right, so go ahead, brother. This is uh, back in 2 Maccabees 6 and 13 now. It says, for it is a token of his great goodness when wicked doers are not suffered any long time, but forthwith punished. For not as with other nations whom the Lord patiently forbeareth to punish till, the, till they become to the fullness of their sins, so he dealeth with us. Be, lest that being come to the height of sin afterwards, he should take vengeance of us. And therefore he never withdraws his mercy from us. And though he punish us with, punish us with adversity, yet don't he never forsake his people. So he put us through, just as Amos 3, uh, 1 and 2. Uh, um, you only have I known of all the families of the earth, and therefore I will punish you for your iniquities. That's why these other nations are doing fine. All right? Go ahead, bring, uh, bring that out, brother. He's thinking of five, and five. Thus saith the Lord God, this is Jerusalem. I have set in it the midst of the nations and countries that are round about her. And she hath changed my judgments into wickedness more than the nations. So we went worse and acted worse than all the other nations, man. You, you, you start letting some strippers go out to the strip club and there was white people, man. And they were sitting up there just doing this little shit. You got the niggas, women up in there, they start booty clapping. Start sliding up and down the pole. Start doing all kind of stuff. Now you got a little white woman trying to do the same thing. And ain't getting, I don't know why a white woman be trying to booty clap. She ain't got no ass. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But that's nigga Jake, man. We take we take everything up to the um degree, man. You, you, we went and took this crap to make it to, you know saying, Oh, you thought you knew how to make crack. Hold on. You go ahead on and put this and mix that and mix that. You got a whole pot full of it. Yeah, I'm telling you they wicked, man. And I wicked this surpass all of them, man. And she has changed my judgments into wickedness more than the nations, and my statutes more than the countries that are round about her. They have refused my judgments and my statutes. They have not, they have not walked in them. Alright? So that's what we've been subjected to. You got a precept, brother? 
All right, so now, while we out here doing this, is for we can get into the presence of the Most High. If we repent, we can get into the presence of the Most High. We gotta come back from that wickedness, man. White men not coming into the kingdom, man. We read it earlier, it said no lot. It will have no lot in the congregation of the Most High. So what does that mean for those who obey? Matter of fact, before we even go into this, give me Matthew 19, when he says, uh, Peter says, what are we gonna get? obeying the most high. Because there's a reason why we out here, man. It's to wake up Jake. But that's up to y'all to wake up, man. All we can do is plant a seed and hope that the most high give you the increase, man. All right? We only gonna tell you the truth and hope that you hear it. But if you hear it, this is the promise and the rewards that the most high is gonna give us, man. And you need some hope. I will tell you what the whole point is. Go ahead, brother. Matthew 19, 27. Then answered Peter and said unto him, Behold, we have forsaken all and followed thee. What shall we have therefore? I liked how the elders have brought this out before, man. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but be careful. All right? Um, I like how the elders have brought this out before, brother. He said, they say, uh, Peter had he had Peter had, had some balls, man. He came to your shot, austere, Mr. Austerity himself. You think white man austerity measures, man? <laughs> you ain't gonna see nothing when you deal with Yahweh Bar Shem Yahweh Shai. And it says, uh, and we forsaken all. What do you say? And Yahweh Shai said, No, 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 no. What Peter said? Then answered Peter and said to him, Behold, we have forsaken all. And we gave up everything. I was making a lot of money on this fishing boat. I, I was making good money on this fishing, uh, uh, on these expeditions, man. I gave up my friends, my family, I gave up everything. I denied all that shit for you, uh, uh, Yahweh Ba'at Shem, Yahweh Shot. Go ahead. And follow thee, what shall we have that for? So what are we gonna get? What are we, go what are we gonna get for going head on and coming back to the laws and our heritage and our culture? What are we gonna get for going out there in the highways and the byways and the cold and the rain and the sleep and the snow? All right, go ahead. And Yahweh shall say unto them, Verily I say unto you, that ye which shall follow me in the regeneration when the Son of Man shall sit in the throne of his glory, ye also shall sit upon twelve thrones, judging the twelve tribes. He said, I'm going to elevate you all to kings, man. Who sits on thrones? Kings. Matter of fact, give me Revelation, the first chapter, um, verses five and six. He said, I'm going to, you, they, if you follow me in this regeneration, go, which is reincarnation, coming in and coming out, going through the bullshit, suffering, being killed, being destroyed, but holding on to the faith of Yahweh Ba'a Shem Yahweh Shai, you're going to be sitting on thrones judging the nations, man. In rulership, man. Give me that. Revelations 1 and 5. And from Yahweh Shai, who is the faithful witness, and the first begotten of the dead, and the prince of the kings of the earth, but to him that left he's the us. prince. Yahweh Shah is the prince of the kings. That means he's the head king in charge, man. Yahweh is out to him to be the number one king. And that's another calamitous one. We're not going to even waste it. No, no, don't even waste your time with that silly <laughs> witch, man. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, well, come on, brother. You know, don't even pay no attention. Come on, brother. That's how that's how the devil works, man. He sends if somebody immediately to pick up seeds. She gonna get ICBM missile fire. So let her be. Go ahead, brother. But to him that loved us and washed us from our sins in his own blood. He's a demon, man. And has made us kings and priests unto God and his Father. To him be glory and dominion forever and ever. Read that again, huh? And has made us kings and priests unto God. The Most High said he made us kings and priests. All right? Now, if he exalted Yahweh Shah to be in the head king in charge and then exalted his other sons to be kings as well to sit on the thrones along with him that's being in the presence of the most high that's what we want because he's our father who don't want to be around that day wicked people man go ahead and has made us kings and priests unto God and his father to him be glory and dominion forever and ever our mind. That's right. So we want to get back in the good graces and in the, good, in the presence of the Most High. You got a reset? Go ahead, brother. This is uh, the book of Mark, chapter 9, verse 1. And he said unto them, Verily I say unto you, that there be some of them that's right. that stand here who shall not taste of death. And that's reincarnation. That goes for the brothers right here and the brothers preaching in every state. Some are going to go from this life right into the kingdom. That's right. We shall not taste of death 
till they have seen the kingdom of the Most High come with power. That's right. And that's our hope, man. So if we get the chance to see him, guess what we're going to be next to? We're going to be in the presence of the Most High. That's what we're fighting for. We're fighting to be in the presence of the Most High. Like we're fighting to be in the presence of our Father, man. Somebody give me uh, Genesis 3 and 8. Genesis 3 and 8. And uh, somebody give me uh, uh, Psalms 27 and 4. And then uh, uh, somebody, uh, not tonight, you give me uh, Psalms 84. Genesis 3 and 8. And they heard the voice of the Lord God walking in the garden in the cool of the day. And Adam and his wife hid themselves from his presence from, like, from the presence of the Lord God amongst the trees of the garden. So, <laughs> not to go take it too deep, just to keep it simple. We had, once we had sinned in the beginning, man, we got, uh, we hid ourselves from the presence of the Lord because we were ashamed of our wickedness, man. And then skip down towards the end, uh, the last couple of verses where it says he put us out. Uh, verse 22 or something like that. Verse 21. Unto Adam also, unto his wife, did the Lord God make coats of skins and clothing. And the Lord God said, Behold, the man has become as one of us to know good and evil. And now, as he put forth his hand, to take also of the tree of life and eat and live forever. Therefore the Lord God sent him forth from the garden of Eden to till the ground for which he was taken. So he put us out. He put us out the garden. He kicked us out. When we got kicked out, we got kicked out of the presence of the Most High. And that's what we've been doing ever since is trying to get back into the good graces of the Most High so we can get back in his presence. This is a glorious thing. He said we'll be like God's, be eating out, out of the tree of life, being in, 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 in his presence, having the access and knowledge and wisdom of all his glory and the, and the power that he's given us as his sons. But if we sin it, we can't have it. So he kicked us out. So now we try to get back into the good graces of the Most High. All right? Uh, give me uh, Psalms 27 and 4. Psalms 27 and 4. One thing have I desired of the Lord. One thing have I desired of Yahweh. Go ahead. That will I seek after. This is what we're seeking for. Not seeking for the new Xbox game. Not seeking for the newest um, uh, radio deal, uh, record deal, TV deal, fame, which is famished. You know what I'm saying? If I may, go ahead. That I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life. That I can dwell in the house of Yahweh all the days of my life. We want backstage passes, man. We want to be the part of the number. We want to be VIP, con. That's what we're fighting for. Read that again, huh? <laughs> One thing have I desired of the Lord, that will I seek after, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to behold the beauty of the Lord. Ooh. To behold the beauty of the Most High. This is what we're fighting for. That's Kaku right there, man. That's what we're fighting for, man. We want to behold his beauty. You, he is absolutely glorious. Glorious. And we sit over here and just vile human bodies, man. And we, uh, give me a Philippians uh, 3. Uh, we'll, we might jump around in there. Go ahead. To behold the beauty of the Lord and to inquire in his temple. Oh, what? To inquire in his temple. Be in his presence. That's what we're fighting for. Y'all better understand what the what we're giving up if we if we don't understand and come back to our knowledge of our heritage and our culture. We're giving up that right to be in his presence, man. To be in the in, in his inner sanctum, man. Uh yeah, go ahead, brother. This is uh, St. Luke, chapter 12, verse 31. But rather seek ye the kingdom of the Most High, and all these things shall be added unto you. That's right. You so, see, we, go ahead, brother. Well, yeah, I was going to say that's your first priority is right here, man. That's Everything right. else is temporary, man. This whole life is temporary, as that's it right. tells you in Corinthians, man. So that's anything right. you try and build up on this side, man, that's not the way, man. You got to put that aside. Go ahead. That's right. So... We try to be in the presence of the Lord. That's what we're fighting for. Give me um, uh, uh, Philippians um, 3. Uh, start off with verse 9. 